Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tudrin Field here at Smith Vocational High School. It is September 1st, 2012, the opening day of the Northampton Youth Football League season. We are here for the senior game, the Blue Devils of Northampton against the Belchertown Eagles. I'm Andrew Shelfo, joined here atop the press booth by Rob Osberg. How are you, Rob? Fantastic. It is a glorious day and a great day to kick off the Northampton youth football season. Hamp is set to receive. There's the kick. Fielded cleanly. We're going to set up the that return. That's Higgins. Henry Higgins. Got some room there on the left-hand side. Oh, nice run. Busts one, one tackle. Break Busts two. another tackle. Brought down finally at the 40-yard line of Belchertown. By number 10, Henry. That Henry. is a good return. Hammer and Hank hammers home the kickoff return for about 30 yards. Hammers it home to the 40-yard line. That was good. Yeah, it was about a 35-yard return right there. That's a good way to start the game. This is the third game we've done today, Rob, and we've seen in the earlier games two victories, two solid defensive showings by the Northampton teams. This is the first game for the seniors this year, as we've said, and let's see what kind of game develops for them. And that's a, that's a wishbone offense. Osberg under center, hard snap. Hard snap on the first play of the game. Gets all those anxious Belchertown players to jump. Nice call. Yeah, yeah. Offsides. Clearly offsides. Advanced the ball five yards. Ian Osberg, a veteran of the Northampton Football League program, as you may know, uh, did a good job there to draw that offsides penalty. Yeah, this is his seventh year, I think, in the program. So he certainly learned a few tricks in that time. So Osberg now lines him up again. Everyone's in the right place. Takes the snap, handoff, nice hole on the left-hand oh, side. Nice run. That is a nice run. That's number be 20, 21, that's Elijah Davis. Davis. Yeah, we're going to be calling his number Calling a his year. name a lot. Yeah, he is a dominant player. Boy, you've got to like the crispness in that offense. They look they look real good on that first, first drive. The first play they had... Uh, well, the first play after the penalty, Davis, good job taking the, taking the handoff, and that left side of the line opened up a huge hole for him. There's an official timeout, or a timeout. Referees are talking about something. We're not privy to everything up here. Really, we're privy to nothing up here, so we don't know what's going on. We can't hear. We don't know what time it is. We don't understand a lot of the calls. What we do know is that it is uh, first and ten. Will be a first down. And that makes first sense because it was first and five, and Davis first had for about eight yards, so it does make sense that that, yeah, I think that's right. First and ten, Blue Devils. They're first deep. and ten, Blue Devils on the 28-yard line. Osberg takes the snap. There was a quick handoff to number 15, Tim Bernicki. No Bernish. Bernish. Bernish, no gain. That's Bernish. I like Bernicki though. That's cool. Wrong. Well, I think that we are accepting things wrong if they are cool up here in some regards. Second down and nine. It's a beautiful evening here at Tudor Field. I just got to say that. Sun's going down. Lights are on. Osberg takes the snap. Channel. There's a handoff the channel. Big hole up the right side. That's a gain of about five yards. Channel is another veteran of the program here, Northampton Youth Football League program. Matthew Channel on the carry. As is his father, Coach Channel. Yes, he is. Up about a third and six. Yeah, all these coaches are, are veteran coaches. He's uh, Frank Levins is the head coach. Scott Channel and Big Mike Gregashevitz are the assistants. So third down and about six yards to go here. Same wishbone formation. Osper takes the snap, fakes That's one handoff. There's another handoff to number nine. Channel. That was Channel. Channel. 78, Bradley Taft. That's a gain of about one. Let's be charitable there. So that's going to bring up fourth Probably down here. Fourth down for the Blue Devils. So after that first offsides penalty, the Belchertown def defense has settled down, and they're playing pretty well so far. I think I'm fourth and about four. Osper takes the snap, rolls oh, to his left. Receiver. There's nice a pass, throw. nice throw, oh, nice what catch. A great throw. That was a great throw and Touchdown, catch. Blue Devils. Jared Levins with a great catch. Osberg with a great Jared throw. Jared That's just the way they drew it up, Rob. Wow. That's a pretty play. Wow. 
as Ian Osprey got quarterback with the touchdown pass. That pretty, didn't look like a first. Play. That didn't look like a first game of the season play. No. That looked like a, a mid-season play if ever I saw one. No fan boot level six. Boy, he had plenty of time to Coach have to be pleased with that play. That was that have was an to awesome be play. With that play. That was impressive. Yeah, good 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 offensive line play gave him plenty of time. Great pattern by Levens. Ball was right there. Threw it over the defender's hand. Levens untouched into the end zone. Another lineup for the two-point conversion try in the wishbone formation. There's a simple Davis, pitch there to Davis, easy. and he's in. Uh, there we go. Two-point two point conversion. conversion. Virtually untouched. Good. Run by, by Elijah Davis. So just like that, game. Rob, the Blue Devils go up 8-0 over the Belchertown Eagles. Nice way to start the game. Nice Good way reminder. to start the season. Come over and visit the food booth. Delicious food and refreshing drinks. And the Blue Devils will be kicking off here with the lead. Go out to the Atlanta for the kick. Northampton gets ready to kick off. They're going to kick off from their own 40-yard line. Uh, you'll see the referees out there reminding Belchertown not to go offside. That would be if they went past the 50-yard line. Even though these are seniors in 7th and 8th grade, there's still a lot of coaching that happens on the field. Mainly by the referees, also by the coaches. Because the coaches can't go onto the field. Osberg, who threw that beautiful touchdown pass, lines up to kick. Kicks it, a little squibber. Picked up by Belchertown. The runner looks for some room. There's oh, a related place to nice go. By Joey. That was a nice play Joey by Brezina. Joe Brezina. I think he may have gotten away with a little bit of a face mask there as his hand yeah. glanced 22. across the face mask. Brezina. But a good play. So Belchertown will take over on their own 36-yard line. Yeah, Joe is uh, new to the program. He uh, family family moved here from Maine. Mom works for the VA hospital. She's uh, quick shout out to Tyler Wall in a leadership role Center there. We're happy to have him in the program. He's uh, looked great in the preseason. We'll see him carrying the ball. We'll see him on defense. Made a nice play there on special teams. Now, Rob, the seniors, did they have two scrimmages in the preseason? Uh, I only know of one. Just one? And they were they look great. That's they looks really great. Did. Good. This is a nice group. These are experienced players. Okay, Belchertown for their first offensive series. See and big big Tyreek Sanders there yeah, taking he, up some he, room he, in the middle. Boy, he, he just defines nose tackle, doesn't he, with that build of his? There's a snap. There's a handoff looking for some room on the right-hand side. There was a hole there for a minute. Jared Levins managed to close it. Also helped out there by number 14, Jared Fowler. Good play. It's a gain of five. Yeah, Hemp looked great uh, in the preseason. This is a de definitely an experienced year and looking for a lot out of this team. Second down and five and a half to go for Belchertown. They have two receivers out to the left, two receivers out to the right. Quarterback giving some last minute instructions. And he is in the shotgun. Wants to bring a receiver close to him. Takes the snap, a little bit of a high snap, but a nice hole fumble, opened up the fumble, ball. There's fumble. a fumble. That's Camp was in That's there. Davis picking it off. Elijah Davis picked it off in midair, it looks like. Hamp takes over. First and ten, Blue Devils. I didn't see who made the hit to cause the fumble. Did you, Rob? I couldn't see it either. Uh, all I know is it was a hard hit because that ball came shooting out. And that was a heads-up play by Davis to, to keep his eye on the ball and grab it. Well, he wanted to go for six. That was a that was a big-time play by the Blue Devil defense. They take the over first and ten on recording. the Eagles, 40. It's disappointing we start for Belchertown, but Hamp will take it. Osberg up under center. Has one back behind him. Shifts another back behind him, fakes the handoff. Davis. There goes Davis, oh, makes nice the first cut, guy miss, nice cut. cuts back, He's looking gone. for some he room. Is he is He's gone. Davis. 20 10 and He's in for the score. score. <laughs> so he was just one play behind taking the ball, running for a touchdown, Rob. Touchdown run by Elijah Davis. That was a spectacular run by Davis. Sure was. You know what? That was such a well run play. I got to give a lot of credit to this Blue Devil. Team. I mean, the timing and the coordination that was outstanding. Offensive line did a great job, and then the one though, that that effort by Davis and busting that through for his score was outstanding. Well, what you saw there was great vision. He just knew how to pick his way through the defenders and get the clear path to the end zone. So now Blue Devils line up for the two-point conversion try. Osberg up under center, wishbone formation, takes the snap. Looks like there was some motion there. It's flags. 
illegal motion on the offense. Well, that's too bad. Osberg was rolling right, and he had Braden in there in the in the corner of the end zone. That was going to be an easy two-point conversion. Braden had burst through, and Ryan's got great hands. There was no question that that would have been a successful two-point conversion. Oh, well. Well, yeah, they looked a little sloppy on that one. Looked yeah. like somebody forgot the snap count. Yep. But they'll just take another stab at it from five yards further back. <clears throat> Blue Devils break the huddle. Osberg up under center. Takes the snap. Now he rolls to his left. Got Looks Levins. for some room, throws it. Levens with the catch. Yeah, two-point two point conversion good is good successful. And that's the play that they use for the touchdown. It's good for two more. So the Blue Devils take advantage of the turnover and go in for the score and the two-point conversion. I believe that puts them up 16 to nothing at this point. This senior game reminds me of senior games of years past, except we were on the on the other side of this, down 16 to nothing after about nine seconds of play. Two-point conversion gives the Blue Devils a lead of 16 to nothing. The Blue Devils will line up to kick. That was two quick touchdowns there for them. We're still in the first quarter, Rob, if I'm not mistaken. And with a game with running time, that's that's pretty hard to do. Referees are getting set. There's the whistle. Osberg checks right, checks left. And now he's fixing the ball on the tee. And we'll start all over again. Good composure. And here we go. It's a good kick. Fielded cleanly. Breaks it to the outside. He's got some room. He sure does. Oh, nice. Davis with oh, a nice yeah. tackle to oh, get him man. out of bounds. Out of bounds. That was a good return. And I think the Belchertown receiver had visions of grandeur on that one. Underestimated maybe the athleticism of Elijah Davis. Yeah, he's, 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 he's tremendous. We're going to be calling his name a lot. Hey, Northampton Youth Football is... Uh, Certainly takes a whole lot of volunteer effort, and we have some great board members, and we have some great coaches, but we also have to give a shout-out to our sponsors led by the Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home. Also want to acknowledge uh, Mark Tanner, and after this play, we'll give all the sponsors their due. It's Belchertown coming out in a tighter formation this time. There was a motion on that one. There's a nice gain at the middle of about six yards, but that play is going to be coming back. Clearly, Belchertown moved. While they're mar marching off that, pa that 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 penalty, I think it's going to be against. It is going to be against Belchertown. It's an illegal procedure penalty. While they're marching that off, that gives us an opportunity to thank Andy Morrison and Liquors 44, the Florin Savings Bank, Osberg and Associates, Pioneer Landscapes, the Northampton Police Relief Association, R.K. Miles, the World War II Club, the Deuce, Blue Bonnet Diner, Valley Home Improvement, Wayland's Insurance. Weber and Grinnell, Newman's Construction, Joe's Pizza, and special thanks to two of our family sponsors, Ron Berenson and his family, and Mike Benedizic and his as well. Thank you to all our sponsors. After the penalty, first and 15 for the Belchertown Eagles. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a handoff to the right side, and eerily reminiscent of the last play, gain of about five, takes it back to the old line of scrimmage. Yeah, and at the bottom of that pile was uh, number 15 who made that tackle. That, that would be... Uh, Tim Bernish. Bernish, yeah. Good run by number 17. Looks like Belchertown's found a little bit of room there on the right-hand side. And that must be the end of the quarter. There's the end of the quarter. At the start of the second quarter, the Northampton Blue Devils up 16 to nothing on the Belchertown Eagles. Belchertown will look at a second and 10 on their own 44-yard line. That first quarter was all Blue Devils. They scored and... Scored and scored. A couple of real impressive offensive plays, taking a 16 to nothing lead into the second quarter. Belchertown has two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Quarterback takes the snap, and there's a pitch. And he is met in the backfield. No, he gets by him. Eventually brought down on the far side of the field. That was Henry Higgins with a nice tackle. Well, I think both Osberg and Braden will take note. That good guy, quarterback that, that is back to the line of scrimmage before he's dragged out of bounds. That defender, that offensive player shows some great speed. He, he did. to evade two defenders who seemed like they were in good position to make a, make a big-time blow. He did. Braden got in the backfield pretty quick, but he did a good job to get around him. 
uh, strung it out, and finally Higgins got him down. So that was no gain there after a lot of running. So that's going to bring up third down and ten. You know, Higgins is a uh, first-year senior, but he's another, I think this is his sixth year in the program, very experienced player. Yeah, he's, of these guys actually started as third graders in the, even though most most of the time they start as fourth graders. They, they second graders, to, perhaps, uh, as opposed to starting as? Yeah, I mean, second graders, right. There's the handoff, a lot of room on the right-hand side. Oh, nice play. Nice tackle. 68. That, I believe, was Andy gregor uh, I think so, too. They had the look of a gregor Shevitz tackle to me. Grego Crunch. Nice play. You know who else did a nice job in that play is number 34, Jasper Kesson, another experienced player. He held his line. He turned him up. gregor Shevitz was able to pursue him. No messing with Kesson on that left corner. That brings up a fourth and five, and we... You know, I'll call this a, a pretty, pretty mildly big play. It'd be nice if the Blue Devils stopped them here. We wouldn't want to see Belcher Town to get any momentum. There's the snap. There's the handoff. Looking for some room on the left. And there's also a big tackle for loss. Davis and Ed Higgins in on that one. There is nothing polite about a Davis tackle. When he hits you, you know it. There's an, there is an acceleration and an enthusiasm in those tackles that you can hear up here. Boom, by Davis. Well, I think, I think what we've seen is that Belchertown can't have these slow developing players that go to the outside because Northampton's speed is going to kill them. Too fast, and as a result of that, Blue Devils take over first and ten. They're taking over again in Belchertown territory. They have the ball on the Belchertown 46-yard line. Nice job, D. So the last time Northampton had the ball on offense, they featured a lot of runs, and then they topped it off with a nice pass. Let's see if they can mix it up a little bit here on this possession as they take over on the 46-yard line of the Eagles. So handoff channel. up the middle of the channel. Does a nice job of moving the ball from the right side to the left side there to get it away from the potential tackler. That's a gain of about four yards. Four yard gain. That was a veteran move to move that ball the way he did. It was a veteran move, and it's a nice gain on first down. Cameraman Kesson pointed out that uh, Matt Channel does a really nice job following his blockers, and I think that was spot on. He sure does. A veteran player understands where the hole is, understands that the job is to get the yards that he can get, and he got them. Shotgun. Shotgun formation. Two receivers to the left. Osberg fading back, looking for something to happen. Nobody open, so he keeps it himself. He gained maybe, let's say, two yards on that. Uh, I'd say he lost, I think he lost two yards on that play. That was a loss of two. Loss of two. Yeah. Just another reminder to make sure you buy a 50 Belchertown had a blitz on on that play that kind of well, messed very dis up the very pass play. Disrupted. Yep. That play might have worked better going to the right where there's a lot more room rather than coming to the strong side on that play. It's tough to throw across your body, and it's certainly tough to throw across your body when... When you're, you're coming to the blitzed. short side of the field, yeah. You're being blitzed, yeah. That'll bring up third and nine. Oh, there was another, another third, and the third and 14. Another problem there with the snap count. That was number 68 admitting fault on that. There we go. Yeah. It's all right. That's okay. We, we've got a third and 14. We've got a third and 14 play in our playbook. That's well. That's we've got a third and long here. Let me go to the third and 14. They are on the 49 yard line now of Belchertown. There's the handoff to Davis. Gets out of one tackle, but he can't get out of the second tackle. He's brought down basically where they started. Stuck here in neutral at midfield. That'll bring a fourth down. And it'll bring on the punting unit. Punting unit comes on the field. Davis is back deep for the punt. Osberg up to protect him. Number 99 back to return the punt here. There's the snap. Good, Good kick. kick. Gets, gets over the, the head of the receiver. Yeah. It's going to get a little spin on it. Downed at the 20-yard line by Higgins. Down by Higgins. Nice punt by Davis. That's a great punt. That's a good weapon to have if you get stuck on fourth down. Belchertown will take over on their own 20-yard line. I don't know if that was Greg Gashevitz on that snap, but that was an outstanding snap, wasn't it? Good snap, and the line did a good job of keeping Belchertown at bay to give Davis time to make that kick. 
as with so many other things in football, it's a team effort when things go well. So it's going to be first and 10 Eagles. And while we're doing this, this gives us an opportunity to talk about some of our players. And one of the players that's uh, new to uh, Northampton youth football this year is number one, Kyle McGrath, who's a seventh grader in a home, schooler living in Florence, really enjoys all sports and big fan of the Patriots. Welcome aboard, Kyle McGrath, number one. First and 10, quarterback takes a snap, rolls to his left, looking for some running room, outruns Davis, outruns number 72, big gain by number finally nine, brought nine, down. Nine. That was a gain of about 15. That's a nice run. That yeah. quarterback showed some speed there. He sure did, and I think number 72 looked like Bo Garbarini on that play, but uh, we're not 100% sure. I think you have it. We're going to research that number. We're pretty sure that was Garbarini. So that's a first down for Belchertown. Yeah, 72 is Bo Garbarini. Bo has really come on as an athlete. He played uh, played baseball this summer in the Kofax League and had a solid year. It's got great speed and showed it in that play. First and 10 on the 34 for Belchertown. Quarterback takes a snap, looks to pass. That's a fumble. That's a fumble. Pick that ball up. Quarterback Ooh. threw the ball a little too hot for the receiver. Boy, that almost looked like a backwards pass, didn't it, from here? Yeah, I couldn't really tell, but the three referees decided that it was an incomplete pass instead. So that'll bring up second down and 10. And it looks like Belchertown is finding a little bit of rhythm on offense. They're looking a little bit more comfortable. And that's number uh, 56. It looks like Barron's coming into the game for Tyree. Yeah, that's Solly Berenson, number 56, who reports into the game. He's a seventh grader. Second and 10, a little fake handoff. Nice oh. tackle. Nice tackle there. Wow. That was Jared Fowler, who was not fooled at all. Came up from his defensive secondary position. You know, I got to focus on the runner and brought him down. You, we have seen these kids play, and I've seen Jared since he was. Uh, since he was a, a third grader. And to watch these kids and watch the form and watch the speed and watch them mature has just been a pleasure. Great play by Fowler. Third and 10 for the Belchertown Eagles after the timeout. They've got a little bit of rhythm going here in this possession. They're doing a much better job of keeping the hungry, hungry defensive line for Northampton off the back of the quarterback. Quarterback up under center, takes a snap. He's looking to pass, and look at that. Wow, nice play by Davis. That was nice play by Davis. Exactly. Also placed nice Griffin play Shaw. by nice play. Joseph Brezina. That was uh, number 23, Griffin Oh, Shaw, I'm sorry, number yeah. 23. Did a great job. Great speed in the corner by the Blue Devils. Good speed. That's one way to slow down an offense that's getting some rhythm is to sack the quarterback in the backfield for a big loss. Yeah, bringing up a very long fourth down play. Looks like they're gonna they're getting ready to punt here. Looks like they're getting the right personnel in there. Yep, they're lined up to punt. Davis back deep to get the get the catch, get the punt. Just a kick. Elijah lets it drop. Get away from it. And it'll stop at the 48 yard line of the Blue Devils. That's good field position. That was a good decision by Davis. They've been moving the ball on offense. No reason to risk a turnover on that play. Heady play by Davis. Smart play. And smart play by Belchertown to kick away from Davis, too. Be first down Northampton on their own 47 yard line as it gets a little darker here at Tugin Field. The lights are on. It's dusk of a beautiful day here. Hey, another seventh grader in the program that's new to the program. I'm sure we'll be calling we'll his name later is number 12, Jeffrey Parsons. He's a seventh grader at JFK. Another Patriot time. fan and a big time fan of Steve Smith of the Carolina Panthers. Osper takes the snap. There's a handoff. That was channel. To channel. For nothing. That uh, didn't develop right as we wanted it to. The number 78, Bradley Taft in the backfield. So these uh, Belchertown uh, coaching staff and players are doing a good job, uh, much better job than they were earlier, keying off of some of these plays. Hamp is definitely going to have to change up their offense a little bit here. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Northampton's stalled a little bit, and Belchertown has made the necessary adjustments. Yeah, just to, you know, these experienced players put a couple wrinkles in these plays, and they'll break them. Everybody's up in the box. Osper takes the snap, rolls out, rolls back, throws the ball up for Levens, makes the catch. Gets about six yards after the catch. That's a gain of about 10, 10, yards, 10, yards. 10 yards. 10 yards, 10 yards. So that'll bring up third and about six yards. It's a great play by Osper who rolled out, saw the defender, rolled back the other way, stopped, threw to a wide open Jared Levens who caught the ball and had the wherewithal to keep going down the field. He yeah, showed some arm strength on that play. He threw that ball about 30 yards across the field. Nice play, nice play. He's up third and about four. Handoff up the middle. Joey. To, and he gets the first down and about two more yards. Brezina, nice play. That's a good good play by Brezina there. That's going to be a first down, Ron. That's and the first down that I think we wanted there. Designer. And you may have heard the referee say two-minute warning, so we're under two minutes remaining here in the first half. Timeout. Late in the first half here, Northampton is up 16 to nothing on Belchertown. After the timeout, Northampton just had a first down. They got a little bit of momentum here going on this drive. It'd be nice if they could put something together before halftime, Rob. Well, it certainly uh, would make it uh, very difficult for the Eagles to come back from a three-touchdown deficit. There's the whistle, the clock starts. Osberg takes a snap. There's the pitch to Davis on the left-hand side. Gets a nice block there by, ooh, Brezina. That's another gain of about eight yards. Brought down by number 78, Bradley Taft. So, Belchertown has all 11 guys lined up in the box. There's gotta be a way to burn that with a couple of quick passes, huh? Just a couple of, couple of quick slants. You know, if a team wants to stack their butt in the box like that, you can just couple a two-step drop, just snap one out to the flat, and run forever. Don't, you know, don't overcomplicate it. Look at how tight they are up on that box. They sent Davis in motion there. Timeout on the play. Blue Devils took a timeout there. I didn't see who took it. It was just a 20-second timeout, which gives us an opportunity to talk about some of the other players for the Northampton Blue Devils. Number 33, Jared Levins. We're going to be calling his number a lot this year. He's a dynamic player. He's an eighth grader, very experienced. He also plays basketball and baseball. He's a big Steeler fan, and he also uh, is a big fan of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I wouldn't be surprised if he has what it takes to play football at that level in college as well. Second down at about four. Osberg sends Davis in motion. There's the handoff the other way. That's going to be just shy of the first down there. It was a good run by Channel. And they're trying a little bit of misdirection there in the backfield with the fake handoffs. Yeah, I think I think if Maddie had had cut left instead of right, he probably would have got probably would have got the first down. But he was going for the home run on that play, and you can't blame him. He saw a lot of daylight at the outside. If he cut it up, if he cut it off, he probably would have fell for the first down. So Northampton takes another timeout. They want to make sure they have everything figured out here as time runs down in the first half. Belchertown goes over to talk to their coaches as well. Northampton is all set, going back out there on the field. This gives us a chance to talk about number 75, affectionately referred to by his family as the Big Mac attack. That's uh, Ty Tyreek. He is entering the seventh grade at JFK. He's also a fan of, of history. Coaches are making some final adjustments to the lineup out there. Third Looks, and very short, and there's also very little time left at the in the half here. Yeah, we have no clock up here, so we're only guessing. Osberg on the keeper up the middle. He's got the first down. And that'll stop the clock. Stops think. the clock. Yes, it does, very briefly. Coaches urging the players to get on the ball because well, they sense as we do that time is growing short here in the sec in the first half. There's the wind. Gosh, you just, just want to exploit this uh, stacked defensive line there. Osper takes yeah, a snap, rolls out Raven. to his right. Got him. Was that a catch? Yes, it was. That was not a well-thrown ball, however. That was Braden makes, it, makes a nice catch there. Northampton calls another timeout. This is another 20-second timeout. Well, and I'll admit, Rob, every year I have to say this, I have no idea how many timeouts they get. Seems like they get a lot. 
coach channel is is playing with the clock here taking his timeouts making sure that they're all set before they run out of time here in the first half second down and about six with very little time left in the end of the first half of the blue devils leading belcher down eagles 16 to nothing osper takes the snap looking to pass rolls to his left he's being chased brought down in the backfield for a loss another big play so that'll stop the clock while they reset it Got to get the players going quick because as soon as they blow that whistle, that's the half. and that's the half. Halftime, Blue Devils winning 16-0. to Getting ready for the second half kickoff here at Tugent Field at Smith Vocational High School. The Northampton Blue Devils Senior Division Football League team winning, eight, winning 16 to nothing over Belchertown. There's the kick. Received by Belchertown, got a good head of steam, brings it out to the 40 yard line. It was, was Davis on that tackle, yeah, and also that number that 24. Fowler. No, it was 14 and, and 14 and 21. That was Fowler and Davis. And I have to ask, since this is my first game of the year, too, is it getting darker here every year on the field? The light's getting dimmer, or is it just my eyes? Thanks for that verification there from the booth. Well, the Blue Devils looked great in the first half, particularly that first quarter where they were completely dominant. Belchertown made a defensive adjustment in the second quarter where they put literally 10 guys in the box and they were just putting all sorts of pressure on uh, Northampton and that uh, really thwarted their offense. I'm sure Scott Channel came up, Coach Channel came up with some plays at halftime that they'll put in play. Uh-oh. That's a quick pitch by number Belchertown nine, getting into the secondary and yeah, beyond. Number nine after a huge game. That was a big gain. That was about a 40-yard gain there, bringing it down to the 25-yard line of the Blue Devils. Luckily, Matt Channel was there to make the tackle. That's a touchdown-saving tackle. You talked about adjustments, Rob. It looked like Belchertown made a few adjustments as well. And Belchertown is rushing the pace a little bit, too, going to a no huddle. Takes the snap. Same play. There's the same play. There's another big hole. Runs over the first would-be tackler. Bring up to 99 after breaking a few tackles. He moves the chains for a first down. Jasper Kesson makes a valiant attempt to bring down that runner, but that runner's a big boy. He ran right over him. I didn't see who made the final tackle. Did you, Rob? I couldn't. Uh, my, mine eyes deceived me as well. They're far away, and it's getting a little It's bit, dark, uh, and there's smoke from the snack bar, and the lights are dim. <laughs> it's going to be a long second half. But I'll tell you what, uh, Belcher Town looks like a different team here coming out in the second half. They definitely have a little spring in their step. We didn't really see that in the first half. Well, first in time, about the 18. They come out, they have one receiver to the left, one receiver to the right. Take the snap. It's a handoff. That's go. the defensive line that we came to know. That was, number, that was uh, Jared Levins. Yeah. A little bit of a blitz there to get in there and make the tackle. That'll slow him down a little bit. That brings up second down at about 12. And they are on the 22-yard line, or the 20-yard line of the Blue Devils. I'm uh, trying to identify some of these players. I'm seeing number 70 in there on the, on the defensive line, number uh, 68. Boy, it's getting tougher and tougher to see, isn't it? Belchertown up at the line. Quarterback Colin Sinnels takes the snap, fakes fumble. the handoff. There's a fumble. That's going to be another loss as he's quickly surrounded by four Blue Devils. Suddenly, Belchertown going backwards on two successive plays. And that was after going very far forward and two plays preceding those. Yeah, that's going to bring up third down and about 20 yards to go, and they're... They are deep in Blue Devil territory, but not as deep as they once were. They have the ball on the Blue Devil 28-yard line. And just to remind everybody, there is running time here in these quarters. So even though it is the start of the second half, it can go pretty quick. Belchertown gets set. Two receivers split out wide right, wide left, take the snap. Quarterback throws a lateral. little pitch. There are all sorts of Blue Devils out there. And that play, no there was a lot of running. Nine for a short game. That was a minimal gain, if anything. Yeah. That was brought nice down game. by yeah. that was looked number like. Three. That was number three. Do we have number three on our chart? I don't have a number three, but I know Joe Brazina was in on that tackle yeah, as well. 22. We got to get more money so we can hire some spotters for these later games, Rob. 
Some younger eyes. Younger eyes that would help us out. So what's interesting is after the initial gains, when we saw the spring in the step for Belchertown, a couple of plays for loss, and they're slowing down a little bit. Yeah, fourth and a, um, fourth and twenty here, big play of the game. Time will call the Belchertown Eagles. Yeah, and they recognize it, and they want to make sure they get it right. So they, they heard you, Rob. They said we better call a timeout, and make sure yeah. we get this right. After the timeout, Belchertown, an important fourth down play. Want to make sure they get everything right. Quarterback up by the center. He takes his snap. He is eludes one would-be tackler, throws the ball up in the air, almost caught, falls harmlessly to the earth. The Blue Devils will take over on downs. Nice defensive stance by the Blue Devils. It was. Uh, Levins did a great job putting big-time pressure on that quarterback, and the Blue Devil defensive backs and linebackers had that play covered. Great now, job by the defense after a couple of uh, big games by Belchertown to kick off this half. Yeah, that was an example of a, of a bend-don't-break philosophy there. They kept their heads in the game and got the ball back on downs. Yeah, they take the ball over first and ten. They are they are on their own 26-yard line. We are just starting the second half. This is the Blue Devils' first possession. North Ian Osberg under over. center, wishbone formation behind him, takes the snap. There's a pitch to Channel, looking for some room, following oh, nice his blockers. Block. Real nice block by number 22, Brazina there. Matt Channel got some good yards there. So that's a gain of about two or three. There was a fumble at the end, but it went out of bounds. So Northampton will retain possession. That tackle was made by number 99. That's a play you want to see him kind of turn it up a little bit sooner than that. He seemed like he had more room than that, and he seemed a little reluctant. I thought he was going to uh, accelerate a little bit on that play, and, uh, and that explains it. He got, got injured on that play. So second down, trips right formation. There's a quick out to Elijah Davis. That's a gain of about four yards. Good yardage. Bring up about third and five. So that's another play. It looked like it could have gone for more yarders than it did. Well, I'll tell you what, Elijah, Elijah Davis made a, made a great play to break that first tackle. That first that first tackler was right there, ready to make a play. Did a great play to break the first tackle and stay in bounds. He was tiptoeing on the sidelines there for a little while. So this brings up tiptoe through in the Tudrin field. Third down and five. It's a hard count there. There's a handoff to Davis. Looking for some room on the left-hand side. He speed. gets the side, and he oh, fights for the first down. Run. Still on his feet. Knocked out of bounds, but he gets the first down. What a great individual Davis effort by Elijah Davis. 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 He showed speed, strength, and agility on that play. He used his speed to get to the outside. He used the agility to cut off field. And then he used his strength to break that last tackle to thrust ahead for the first down. Great individual effort by Davis. First down, Blue Devils. They take, they keep the drive going on their uh, the 41 yard on their own 41 yard line. He also showed great awareness of just where the first down was. He wasn't going to stop till he had that first down. So here's that trips right formation again. Last time it was a quick out to Davis. Let's see what they do this time. Osberg, there's a pass to Davis. Looked like a lateral to me. It's a low throw, uh, a and that was a big hit by Belchertown. Yeah, that was not a great throw. 33 and 72 on the play there. It's I'm sure Davis will remind Myers. Ian of that as well. Yeah, buddy, buddy pass. Yeah, that, that throw has to be accurate. It has to get him right in the chest. Otherwise, uh, Davis has no chance. He's a sitting duck, and we saw it there. But he did a good job catching it because you're right. I think that pass did go backwards. It was probably a live ball. Third and uh, second and 15 now. Osberg will keep the ball himself, looking for some room. Runs to his left, no room there. Runs to his right, finds a little bit of room. Gain of about four yards there. Boy, had he not run into his own player, he probably could have bounced it outside and made a big gain, but unfortunately, he, uh, he ran into one of his own guys and uh, had to bounce it back up. And when he bounced it back up, he bounced it back up into the oncoming defense and limited that to about a four or five yard gain, bringing up third and about 12. Well, that's the problem with impro improvising sometimes is because no one else knows what you're doing. That's, that's absolutely right. That brings up third and 12 here. Osberg takes the, the snap, hands off to Davis, looking for some room on the left. And that time there was no room. Number 
78, Bradley Taft on the tackle there. Hey, that 78 has been a nice player a for uh, Belcher Town. He's down. shown strength and speed. He really is a nice player, number 78, Taft. He's a, he's a super player for the Eagles. He had a couple of good plays on that series, and it looks like the Blue Devils are going to line up to punt. Last time, Davis had a really good punt that he hit over the head of the punt returner. Let's see what he can do this time. It's a booming kick by Super Davis, kick. well over the head of the punt returner. That ball is still rolling. That is inside the 15. That's a great punt by wow. Davis. That's a 50 plus yard punt by Elijah Davis to put the Belchertown Eagles way deep in their own territory. As we said in the first half, when you got a weapon like that, it makes fourth down a little bit easier for you. That was Ray Guy like. Coffin corner. Reggie Roby. Is that the end of the quarter? Starting the fourth quarter here at Tudrin Field at Smith Vocational High School. The Northampton Blue Devils winning, leading 16 to nothing over the Belchertown Eagles. After an outrageous punt by Elijah Davis of 50 yards plus, the Eagles find themselves backed up to their own 15-yard line. Let's see what they can do with it. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a handoff. Looking for some room on the right-hand side. Gets past one tackler, two tacklers, three tacklers, Bumble fumbles. Bumble. Still on the ground. Okay, it recovers. North Hampton, ball. North Hampton ball. That's a big turnover in this game. Boy, that was a big hit there. Was that Levins on that hit who shook that? I think that was Levins who made that happen. And then after the ball bounced and bubbled and kicked it. And I think it was Braden who finally recovered it after a big hit by Levins. I think that was Levins on that play. I think it was Levens, and it was 70 on the recovery. Was it 70 or was it 40? It was 70 on the recovery. I don't have 70 on my sheet. Uh, Northampton, excuse me, first and 10 now after the fumble recovery. But it was a good hit. It's in great field position. Nick, Nick Sandoval with the recovery there, number 70. Now Osberg gets a chance to lead the offense well inside Belchertown territory. There's a quick handoff there. That's, that's uh, Joey Brzezina. by number 70, So Brzezina. Is Brzezina. it Brzezina or Brzezina? Or Brzezina, Brzezina. And the timeout on the field. Timeout on the field. Out. After the timeout, it is second and six for the Northampton Blue Devils. We're here in the fourth quarter. It is second and six here for Northampton. Score North is 16 to nothing Blue Devils. Blue Referees. Devils a score here should put this one on a reach. Line. Referee's getting everything set. We're ready to go. Uh, Osberg under center. Handoff. That's Higgins. Hey, Higgins. Nice run. Bounces off one oh, tackler, two run. tackler. That's He's very close run. to the first down. Gets about six yards. In the that play. was an outstanding run. Hey, Higgins is making down. a statement. He wants the ball. Give it to Hammer and Hank. That was Get a nice, him the ball. Nice inside run. He was eluding the tacklers. And he gets the first down. There. I'll tell you what, Hamp has some depth at running back. Higgins, Davis, Brazina, Channel, Burdish. There's just a lot of guys who can make things happen out of that down. backfield. Osberg on her center, wishbone behind him. It's a handoff to the up That's back. Brzezina. That was Brazina. Brought Brzezina. down for a loss. Or Brzezina. Both of them the were back brought back down for a loss. Backfield for about a one yard loss. Coming from 13 touchdowns last year in Bangor, Maine. Carolina. 98 on the play for Belcher. So we just we just heard from the uh, scouting bureau that uh, Brazino, who comes from Bangor, Maine, had uh, about 13 touchdowns last year. So this is an experienced football player, and he's certainly showed it with some of his blocking, his defense, and his solid ball carrying. Second down and looks like the game again on that one. Oh, there's Davis. He Davis is gone. to the outside, and this should seal the game. That's Elijah Davis, touchdown. touchdown. Elijah Davis. He took that one to the house. Yeah, he did. That was a nice play. Great, great Meat timing on the part of that. The, the uh, food booth here, two dollars, and they are delicious. And we are celebrating that touchdown with a meatball sandwich <laughs> special. Two dollar meatball here. sandwich special for those of you watching at home. I would encourage you to come down here and watch the games live. There will be three other opportunities over the course of the season. Not only is it a beautiful, beautiful venue, the food is outstanding. And make sure you call ahead to reserve your meatball sandwiches. For a meatball sandwich. I'm in. Can they put, put some aside for us up here? Here they go, lining up for the two-point conversion try. 
Osprey takes the snap. Again, there was motion problems. Let's see what they say here. Are they calling that offsides or they calling that? They're going to walk it back five yards. So legal motion on the Blue Devils. Looked a little bit sloppy on that one, Rob. Uh, yeah. So they're going to try the same thing on the Belchertown side, the coaches are saying. But I have a feeling we're going to do something a little different. Coach Chandler brought uh, quarterback Osberg over, gave him, gave him the play. There's the pitch wide. The channel. Channel takes it. That's a nice tackle in the open field. The two point conversion is no good. the Blue Devil score at 24. So we're lined up here for the kickoff. We're here in the fourth quarter. Northampton Blue Devils up 22 to nothing on the Belchertown Eagles. Osberg ready to kick. And he booms one down the field. Belchertown lets it hit the turf. That makes it harder to pick up. And it gets lined up for a nice tackle. Who was number that? Was that number 23? 23. Nice play right there. That was Griffin, Griffin Shaw. Shaw. Nice, nice play. By play. By Shaw. Surprising that he let that ball hit the turf like that. Because really all that does is kind of set you up for the tackle. And Griffin Shaw did a nice job of finishing him off. So Belchertown takes over at the 30-yard line, their own 30-yard line. They're down three touchdowns here late in the fourth quarter. And I'll be honest here, I'm going to go out on a limb, Rob, and say they don't have enough firepower to overcome this deficit. I don't think so. I think Hamp's in, in a good position right now. It's a, you know, Hamp, Hamp's done a great job. But even, even though it seems like they have this game well in hand, that's no excuse to stop playing your hardest. And I'm hoping the defense comes through and really steps up and has a strong fourth quarter. And there's an interception coming. And as from, from my lips, right, to the Blue Devils' ears, that's a nice play by Kesson. Don't Kesson. be messing with Kesson on that left corner. And that pass is intercepted well, number 34, nice Jasper play by Kesson. Jasper Kesson. It's just what you said, Rob. Nobody was going to take off on a play like that, and Kesson did a great job. At this time, I'd like to thank Andrew Kesson, Andrew Shofo, and Rob Osberg for filming and announcing the games for NCTV. Oh, yeah. That's a nice thank you. Game. Thank you very much. Rob, I can attest that the two dollar meatball spe meatball special meatball sandwich special was Our awesome. It was nice of them to uh, to thank us. It gave us an extra time to have, have a couple of bites. Have a couple more meatballs. And that's Fowler in that quarterback, and he hands off to number fifteen Burnish for a three yard three yard game. That was Tim Burnish. Tim Burnish. Tackle by number 99. And, and in the timeout there, we heard the coaches put in the second offense, making sure that everyone can get a lot of playing time here today on the first day of the 2012 season. Brings up fourth down and eight yards to go for the Blue Devils after the Kesson interception. Correct that, that's second down. That's uh, looks like Solly Berenson in there. Oops, there's a motion. And there's a motion problem. 12 men on the field is the call. Yeah. Sometimes that'll Five happen. Guys. Sometimes yeah, that'll happen with a second team offense. <laughs> now they got the 12 men on the field straightened out. They figured out who they were going to bring off. And the man they brought off with was Griffin Shaw, number 23. So that brings up second and 14. Fowler takes a snap. There's the pitch. And there's the tackle deep in the backfield. Back is tackled for a huge loss by one of the Belcher Tiny Eagles interior defensemen. Like number 78, Bradley Taft on the tackle there. It's carried by number 24. Unfortunately, I don't have his number on my roster. So that brings up third down and a long 20 yards to go. The Blue Devils break the huddle. Fowler up under center, has the wishbone behind him. Takes the snap, and there was a little bit of motion there on the offensive line. Well, this is uh, to be expected. This is going to be a full start. This group has, has not had as many reps as the, uh, the first team offense. 
this just does give us an opportunity, though, to uh, do another player profile. Come on, Rob, with a lead in like that, you got to have a profile ready. Let's talk about Andy Greg Gusevich, who's uh, number 68. He's, a, he's a, had a great game today. He's played some center. He's only a seventh grader, and he's playing center. He's at JFK Middle, Middle, Middle School, and surprisingly, his favorite subject is physical education. He's a three-sport star. Fowler takes a snap. There was a handoff. Out to Cyrus Carey. A gain of about three, maybe one yard on the play. That'll bring up fourth down and 25. I think we're going to see a punt here. I'm out on the field. It's a 30 second timeout by Belchertown. They want to save some time on the clock. Blue Devils are in punt formation, not a surprise. It's fourth and forever. Davis has had two outstanding punts today. Yeah, he's been punting it forever today as well, in addition to scoring two touchdowns and recording three of the loudest tackles of the day. He and Jared Levins have just anchored that Blue Devil defense. Takes the snap. End over end kick. Another good kick. Takes a Blue Devil bounce. Downed at the 24 yard line. Punt down by number 24. In North and the Eagles are going to take over first and 10. 24 on, on the 24. The Blue Devils. The 25 yard line. Belcher Town will take over line. on their own 25 yard line late, late in the fourth quarter. Trailing 22 to nothing. Well, Rob, I think it's been a good opening day for the Northampton Youth Football League program. Uh, it has. You know, they were they were challenged on some drives. They were forced to, came out strong. They were challenged on some drives. They really need to adjust. Belchertown didn't quit to their credit. They, they battled hard. And uh, But that, that last score by the Blue Devils uh, was the game clincher. And this is the third and last of three games today. And the Peewees won, the juniors won, and it looks like the seniors yeah, are on their way to winning, a, too. A three-game sweep. Looks like, like, it's like playing against the Red Sox. Looks like Belchertown's going to air it out a little bit and attempt to erase the shutout. There's a pitch. There's a good catch by that back. Oh, look at Levins. Wow. Levins was not going to let that play wow. gain anything. Joseph Delgado in the carry there. Levins, great speed there. Brings him down right at the line of scrimmage. No Look gain. For a gain of about one yard. Second nine here. That'll bring up second down and ten. Mm, we could be charitable and call it nine and a half, I guess. As the bugs descend down here at Tugend Field in the lights. There are wholesale changes on the Blue Devil defense. We don't have a completed roster. Otherwise, we would... Be able to identify more of these players. We will have one next week. We apologize to all the players and all the families, but this is that, our first. This is our first week, and uh, and we didn't have a preseason. We didn't. Second and ten. Quarterback oh, takes the snap. Oh. There's a fumble on the play. He was hit by Elijah Davis. Forced the fumble, but Belchertown managed to fall on it. Like Tungi Botter, number seven, uh, goes into the game. And Replaces Tim Bernish. This is Tungi's first year in the program. program be able to function well. Going into eighth, uh, eighth, seventh grade at JFK. From the, From the Isle of Man. How many touchdowns did he score there last year? He played rugby. His first time oh, playing played rugby, rugby last year at the Isle of Man. Ever. We'll see how those skills translate. First time ever on field. So that's third and 16. Third and long here for Belgium County. Don't forget, meatball sandwiches, $2 at the food booth. <laughs> Quarterback takes the snap, rolls to his right, he rolls to his left, hands off to his right. Nice gain. Finally Good brought down by Clayton, number 16. And also number, our 24. friend number 24. Bring up I feel bad. We're calling his number a lot, but we don't know his name. Marcus Peterson used to wear that number, so we'll just call him Marcus. Henry. It's going to be about fourth Who's and seven for the best Eagles. Who's number 24? Who is it? That's the two minute warning. Who is the two minute warning? Two minutes left in the last game. Two minutes left in the game. The season for the it Eagles. is fourth and eight. Vontae. Grant. Vontae. Vontae is number 24. Belchertown takes the snap. There's a 
Odd handoff. Oh, man. Runs into Davis, forces the fumble. Davis forcing a fumble and recovering it. That is a great play by Davis. Javante Grant. Javante Grant, number 24 we learned is Javante Grant, which I'm glad that we put a, a name to his number because we did call it out a lot tonight. So with less than two minutes left in the game, Northampton will take over on the Belchertown 24-yard line. I would expect to see, if not some kneel downs, some inside tackle running. I think so. Just to keep that clock going. Fowler back again, a quarterback, as they get some players in there who haven't seen a lot of playing time so far. And you heard the cry from the coach saying, make sure you have 11, because we've seen each team struggle with the arithmetic a little bit. It is the first game, and I'll tell you what. You know, we and it looks like Northampton has 12 men on the field. 12 men on the field. Unfortunately, that stops the clock. Can't do that. <laughs> that's funny. So that's a five yard penalty. First and 15. Fowler takes a snap. There's a handoff. Nice that handoff to the fullback, and he is stuffed. That was a handoff to Cyrus Carey. And he was met by half of the Belchertown line. We lost, I think uh, we lost some pads on that play. Somebody, and, and somebody lost, somebody lost a pad. We got that straightened out. I'd like to thank Ian Levins for helping me on the booth today. It's the Mutual Admiration Society down in the booth. Love you too, man. <laughs> Rob, I'd like to thank you for all your help today. <laughs> I'd like to thank those guys for bringing us meatball sandwiches. What meatball sandwiches? A lot of motion there. Flags are flying. Flag on the play. And they're calling false start yeah, they, they on are, Northampton. It's, it's very clear that uh, a lot of the players on the field don't have the same experience as those who preceded them. They're uh, a little out of sync right now, but that's understandable. They don't get as many reps. A lot of these guys are playing in their second positions or seeing some of their first action at the senior level. And, you know, the game speeds up as you get older. Uh, we've watched three games today, and the, and the speed of this game and, the, and the, the power and the impacts in this game compared to the other ones completely different. And for a lot of these guys who are seventh graders, it's their first years at this level, it's, uh, it's a new experience. Fowler takes a snap. It's a quarterback keeper. That he better good. outrun that guy. That wow. good. Is that number 73 or 78 on Belchertown? He's got quite a motor in him. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's their best player. He's a superior athlete. Fowler had no chance on that one. No, he's he's been all over the place. That that guy's done a great job, on, and, he's, and he's been working hard the whole time. He hasn't given up. There's no quit. He's made some great tackles. The Blue Devils face about third and 50. It is third down and 30, maybe 28 or 29. So we'll see what they have in their bag of tricks, and that is the game. the game. Hey, what a great game for the Blue Devils. They looked they looked pretty sharp out there, Final Rob. score was. And that was the final score. Here we go. Northampton, 22. 22 to 0. Belchertown, 0. Special That's thanks. That's a full sweep for the Northampton Youth Football Program today at the Belchertown Eagles. I think that was three games, three victories, and three shutouts, Rob. Thank you to like Kessler Productions. Start. Congratulations. Final score here, 22 to nothing. We'll see everyone next time.